Cruising down the open road, westwards towards Otago. Feeling the wind blow, sunshine beaming, a perfect day. So, the place that we're trying to get to is Omarama, Omarama from Oamaru. And this right here is probably this one, and it contains some rock drawings, ancient Maori rock drawings, maybe up there somewhere. So this spot was apparently a strategic layover point for the Maori people on the way along the Waitiki River. So this is what we're supposed to be seeing, but I can't really find that. Maybe this part. And this may be the number eight. I can't really distinguish. However, this part is clearly visible. So these red marks are there. Yeah, these most of these parts are removed. You see that in there. You can still see this X and this P shape thing just over there. The X and the P shape on there. A little bit of that black thing. And there were the shadow of my eyes. It's kind of cool that so much is preserved, but we can't really see what they meant. And the signs down there say that we actually have no idea what what this was or what it's supposed to be. Is it like a gathering place or is it just shelter? Too many questions. Lunchtime. Trying to cook some potatoes that we've had for ages now and essentially just trying to finish all this stuff. Trying to make a cheese sauce for the potatoes and, uh, and some salad. This actually looks much better than I thought it would. And it smells pretty good too. What do we think? These guys have been circling here for like five minutes now. For the third time they just pass. I don't know what they're doing. There's a lot of bikes in the back. I don't know. Man. It is time to go to bed. It's gonna be cold. It's eight degrees inside and just over zero degrees outside. It's not even late. It's like 8.30. Probably not see anything. There's a moon, but that's pretty much it. Right, good night. Let's hope that we don't become a ice popsicle. Good night. Good morning. I don't know how much you can see, but it was cold. I was basically just trying to get my nose out the sleeping bag. The rest was just covered. For a couple of minutes last night, I was the only one, but two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine people. Let's get some breakfast.
And the worst thing is that the weather app says it's gonna be five degrees tonight. That's just so much not accurate. It's like 10 degrees off. Jesus. It's the last bagel of its form. We're getting there, we're getting there. I mean, it is a wonderful morning. Cold, but wonderful. Oh, the sun is coming up. I was not expecting it anymore, to be honest, but my fingers are cold. We're almost done with the, with the dishes. We can now drive to Bendiga, which I think is our next stop. So now that the sun is coming up here, I was wondering if I want to stay here, but so we're here in Oam, Omarama and we want to get to Bendigo and there's a mountain here and a mountain here so it's kind of similar to, to here I guess so I think we're just going to get there and chill there for the night and then head to Wanaka should not be too much of a difference Right, we did have a little bit of a change of plan because the sun is just can't be better anywhere else really so we cut video 57 and now we're having a little bit of a lunch and then also we're going to head to the Luggett Luggett Rugby Club where we've been before because that's the only cheap campsite around Wanaka where they have showers head there sleep there and then head to the to the hook to do the salmon fishing, which should be very interesting. All right, see you on the road. Hop in the van, let's hit the road. Head to Wanaka, a fishing episode. Sun shining bright on this perfect day. Salmon fishing farm is where we're gonna play. Drive down the highway, wind in our air, air windows roll down, not a single care. Jamming to the tune, singing loud and free. Adventure awaits, just you and me. Alright, we wanted to go to shower, but we wanted to take the trash can, but because we were using some super sustainable trash bags, they just ripped. And now because we bolted this one on, we need to unscrew that to clean it up. It feels a bit of a mess, a bit of a... It's just how it is, I guess. Dinner is nothing special today, just some pesto noodles and some salad. Basically just leftovers from the last couple of days. Tomorrow we'll get the salmon and then we'll meet uh, Phil and then see how we go from there. So, cheers. Here's the pesto. I mean, uh, exceptionally well cooked pasta. <clears throat> Morning, or more like good day. It's half past twelve, and we've been just working here a little bit in this wonderful weather. Three parks area in Wanaka. And now we're heading to the salmon fishing thing which is called the hook. Sounds like cannibalism. We're feeding the salmon with salmon.
Maybe. Much more relaxing than I wanted to be. The gills, right. First thing that spoils out of a fish is the gills. Okay. And then the guts all come out in one. And done. And then. It's a hot sort of eating there. Just on the inside there, there's a, there's a bloodline. See how it's running up there? Alright. You just want to get in the spoon works as well. You just get in with something, something blunt on the back of a fork. Yeah. And then you just scrape it out. Um, so this is what's left over from, what was it, 600, 700 grams of fish? And you get the hot smoked thing. Alright, we're heading to the next camp spot which is in Dublin Bay. Just a 10 minute ride but it's pretty close which is pretty good because tomorrow morning we're going to head into Wanaka again so don't want to drive too far off. This does look amazing. There's a couple of no camping signs, so I don't know if we want to stay here tonight. Let's see down there and check it out. This is a bit pretty nice. But I think it's a bit too, too sketchy because there was two campers, but they just uh, drove off. So they're not staying here. And I wonder if that has a reason. Whether they have had a bad experience or whatever. But I think we just got back to the luggage. The red bridge. Uh, it's a bit too hot. But it looks so nice. Find another spot at the Lake Hawea. Spot Lake Hawea. It's no camping beyond there. It's a bit sketchy to get in here, to be honest. But yeah, this is beautiful. It's getting cold. Should be a good night sky tonight. Yeah, it's pretty cold, and we're just gonna and we're just gonna head to bed. Tomorrow's a big day. Until then, have a good night. <laughs>